I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for joining me on TCM for this week's Silent Sunday Night feature. Tonight we have a sweeping drama starring two highly acclaimed dramatic actors, Lillian Gish and Ronald Coleman. From 1923, it's The White Sister. Set in an Italian village at the base of the explosive Mount Vesuvius, the story follows a young woman, played by Lillian Gish, who's cheated out of her inheritance and separated from her lover, a military officer played by Ronald Coleman. When she hears a report that he's been killed in action, she decides to devote herself to the Catholic Church. She takes vows as a nun without realizing that the man she loves is still alive. The White Sister started out as a novel and popular stage play that was first adapted for the screen in 1915. It was adapted again in 1933 as a sound version starring Clark Gable and Helen Hayes. The silent version you're about to see was spearheaded by its star, Lillian Gish. Gish had become one of the biggest stars in movies in the early silent era on the strength of her work with D.W. Griffith, including films like The Birth of a Nation in 1915 and Intolerance in 1916. By this point in 1923, she was eager to go out on her own and begin working with other directors. And the White Sister teamed her for the first time with director Henry King. Gish had been so impressed with King's 1921 film, Talbot David, that she looked for a project they could work on together. From the outset, Gish worked closely with Henry King to plan the production. They even went to Broadway shows together to scout actors for the film. At one performance, they discovered a British actor named Ronald Coleman and gave him his first starring role in an American film. From 1923, shot on location in Italy, here is The White Sister. Lillian Gish and director Henry King decided to cast Ronald Coleman in The White Sister after seeing him in a stage production on Broadway. He made a screen test the following morning, and two days later, he was on board a ship with the cast and crew heading to Naples, Italy. Filming took place in Naples and in and around Rome, and local officials from the Catholic Church became involved as technical advisors. Lillian Gish was invited to visit various cloistered orders, and she later recalled, I learned from the nuns how to walk and move in the heavy habit and how to use my hands. She added, I was given the privilege of seeing before dawn several ceremonies of the taking of the veil, the marriage to the church. The film turned out to be a hit, turning Ronald Coleman into a bona fide Hollywood star. And Lillian Gish quickly teamed up with director Henry King once again to make another drama filmed in Italy, the 1924 adaptation of George Eliot's novel, Romola. Up next, Alicia Malone is here with this week's TCM Import. And I'll be back next week when Silent Sunday Nights returns. I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for watching. Next on TCM, the ceremony then Empire of Passion, and later, the Girl of the Golden West. TCM's in a long-distance relationship tonight.